Today, we're gonna to take a look at some of the gear I use for a recent client shoot. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and today we're gonna to take a look at gear. So recently, I did a corporate client shoot and I hired a DP for this project because it was a high-end uh, client project. And I needed someone who had more gear, more experience to help me out and take some of that uh, pressure away you know uh, i think that if you're doing corporate client work try to get help or, or try to get someone or collaborate with someone that way you can learn from them you 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 learn from them and they learn from you also it's just nice to collaborate with someone who who has the same interest and the same passion for video so i would highly recommend it don't try to do it all alone so that's my take on it let's get straight to the gear uh you need a camera body of course this is a Sony a6300. I love it because it's small. It shoots great video. All my YouTube videos are shot on this thing and I love it. So lenses, you did, you need different focal lengths. I don't have a lot of lenses, but I borrowed this from my friend, Steven. He's a filmmaker. This is an 85 millimeter 1.4. This is great for getting a close up shot. So I primarily use this camera with this lens to get a, a b-roll uh, not yeah b-roll but also the the b camera or the second shot that was tight on the talent so for interviews this is great uh let's see the 50 millimeter 1.4 i've talked about this before check out the card great lens so that's lenses you also need a lot of sd cards because if you're shooting 4k if you're shooting a lot of footage 120p slow motion you're gonna read through this thing. So make sure you have enough SD cards. You need a lot of batteries, especially with Sony cameras. You eat through these things, especially, uh, you know, if you not buy knockoff versions of the Sony, these die fast. So try to get Sony batteries, uh, even though they're more expensive. Otherwise, you know, is you're just thinking about, oh, when is my camera, is my camera's gonna die on me in the middle of a shoot? You don't want that. All right, so the next thing is sound. Right now I'm recording with the Smart Lab Plus to my Zoom H1. Uh, so this is dual recording. I'm gonna have to sync this audio with the camera afterwards. If you can, try not to do that. Uh, my DP had a uh, C100 and he was running uh, a wireless lab. The audio was straight, going straight to his camera. So the, you know he was getting great sound straight to the camera. No need for syncing. I, on the other hand, was using this uh, DXA Micro Pro, which accepts XLR cable. So I was running an XLR uh, to a boom mic, which is up here, you don't see it. Uh, it's an Asden mic. And you know we were capturing sec a second audio to the talent uh, straight to my camera. And also, also I was capturing great sound. So there was no need for you know, trying to sync audio afterwards. So try to do that, you know, this is something new. I just got this little device and I'm still testing it. So look out for this. Next, uh, so I talked about batteries, uh, SD cards, good sound. Try to get two sources of sound, two cameras going because if something messes up or some uh, camera doesn't record or for whatever reason, try to have two of sound two of ca two cameras what else you need several lenses to get different focal lengths if you don't you know you can also have a, a like this a test cam dr40 if you don't have something like this but then you're gonna have to do dual recording all right so i feel like i'm rambling uh let's talk about lights this is the rx 18t this was our main key light this light is really powerful right now it's de dimmed all the way down but I would highly recommend it because it's lightweight. It's not gonna, you know, like I have here soft boxes, I can't bring those to client shoots. So if you're gonna pick between both uh, sorts of lights, try to go with LED lights. Uh, and also you can soften them up or diffuse them with this kind of paper. I got this at Walmart of all places and it's just paper. You put it over with this little clamps, these, I don't know what these are called, C47, I don't know and it diffuses a light that way you get softer light on the talent uh, so that light was great it's dimmable it's not bicolored but you can buy it bicolored so i have links to all of this stuff that i'm talking about this is a generate led light we also use this um you know so we could carry it around when we're doing b-roll so it's nice to have a nice portable light like that and that runs off of batteries 
Uh, this one, you need bead mount, which I don't have, so I was plugging it in only for the key light uh, when we were doing interviews. Oh, I also got this LED strip. I got this off of uh, Lowe's, a uh, home improvement store here where I live. And this was great because it, we used it as a practical light behind talent. It would light up the background to create interest. So this is awesome. It's, it's lightweight, it's small. You do need to power it to an outlet, but you know this was really helpful and it's like only like 30 bucks at Lowe's. What else do I have? Um, I didn't actually use this little mic, but I love it because you can just plug it in and get audio. Most of the B-roll we shot was uh, slow motion, 120p, so we didn't really need the audio from the camera. We were just shooting without uh, in any audio, basically. All right. You also need tripods, of course. This is a cheap tripod. I actually just bought one today because this thing is okay, it's lightweight. But when you're putting on a monitor like I am and this beach tech on your camera and then the cage and then a heavy lens, it gets pretty heavy. You need a good solid tripod. And let me show you here. You also need a monitor like this one I have right here. This, this monitor has false colors, which is great to nail down the exposure. And actually I didn't talk about this, but that camera right there has an 18 to 105. I just got this lens. I traded it in for my Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4. I needed something that could give me different focal lengths. Uh, so if you're thinking about lenses, you know, it's nice to have these, uh, these 1.4 apertures, these, uh, what do you call these? I forgot the name. Uh, these are zoom lenses. Zoom, what's nice about zoom lenses is that you can get different focal lengths, the only drawback is that you can't step them, step them down to 1.4 or 2.8 or anything like that. Usually they stay at four and you know, you can't get much blurry background or, or, you know, a lot of stuff that you want to do fancy stuff. So you also want to have good light stands. I'm actually using the one over here. It's, uh, it's a one by newer. It's a metal one. Um, oh, here, let me show you this light right here. It's on a light stand. You need a lot of these. I would say you need a couple of them. And if you can, uh, try to get metal ones from newer. Those are my favorite. I only have one. And I would use that if you're like, let's say, uh, thinking about putting a, a boom mic overhead. And I have something here for that. You see that? This grip head goes on top of the light stand, and then you can put hook up the uh, the boom mic on this end. That way you can have it solid. Also use sandbags. I don't have sandbags, but I have this other thing. These are weights that my brother had, and you can place them over your light stands, and you can so they don't tip over. Lastly, I know I'm forgetting some stuff, but you need a power strip and an extension cord. You're gonna need it. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's that's like the essential. I, I know probably for, I forgot some stuff. So if I did, drop them down below. Let me know what I missed or what you think is essential. These are just the things that I feel like it's the most important things. You can't have enough of batteries, SD cards, lenses, lights, camera, uh, these light stands. All these things are important, of course. You're getting paid to do something professionally, therefore you should have redundancy in everything. Try to hire some people who have more gear than you or who can uh, provide that redundancy. So that does it for today's video. Please let me know what you think. Anything I mentioned, it will be in the description. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.